Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edward, and today we're going to make the Enzoni. But the question for today is, do green grapes or red grapes make a difference in the flavor? Let's find out. So let's get into this. The Enzoni was created by Vincenzo Errico. Now he created this while he was at Milk and Honey in New York in 2003. Vincenzo was originally from Naples, and he then went to London and had the chance to study with Dick Bradsell. Dick Bradsell, of course, is considered one of the uh, modern uh, founding fathers of uh, the cocktail movement. And his big thing that he did, as many people know, but if you're new here, it was the creation and the addition of adding fresh fruit to his cocktails. So gone are the days of the 80s and the 70s where they used to get the store-bought syrups and store-bought uh, uh, juices and stuff. We got fresh fruit, fresh syrups, everything done on the premises, which of course elevated and created a much better tastier cocktail. And you know what? I was watching a video the other day, about a week ago or so, by Steve the bartender, and he created this drink, but he didn't have any green grapes on hand. All he had was some red grapes. And I started thinking about this because he commented about uh, Leandro on the Educated Barfly using green grapes. So what I'm thinking about is, do the different types of grapes make a different flavor in the cocktail? And it's a good question because they both look great, but let's try and figure it out. So the first thing we need is our shaking glass. And of course, this recipe calls for four or five grapes. And they're green grapes, or white grapes as they're considered, but depending on the size of the grapes. So I'm gonna grab, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, real, five good sized grapes. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to muddle them down. Oh yes, and look at that. If you're an ASMR fan, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna let you do that in uh, sound because ASMR drives me absolutely up the wall. However, okay. next thing we need, of course, is one ounce of gin. Now gin, of course, uh, you can get it in from many different places. I went to the local liquor store today and I found a local liquor I've never tried, or a local gin I've never tried, I should say. Uh, it's Spirit of York and it comes out of Toronto, which is, Wow, that's got one hell of a, a cork on it. Uh, it's local, it's about 45 minutes away. Uh, for a moment I thought I broke something. So I need one ounce of this or 30 milliliters. Now, this wouldn't be uh, the same without a little bit of Campari. And of course, Campari, as we all know, is very, very bitter. Uh, it's from Milan. And we need one ounce of this or 30 milliliters as well. But next we need a little bit of a simple syrup and we need half an ounce of simple syrup, which is 15 mils. So this is gonna be kind of interesting. I'm curious to see how sweet or how bitter it's going to be. But last but not least we need a little bit of lemon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna squeeze it in. And the reason I'm squeezing this in is one of my friends said to me, Dave, you know, I miss seeing you squeeze your lemon. So you know what, Dan, here you go. Looking pretty good. So what we'll do is we'll shake this with a little bit of ice for a good 10 to 15 seconds. And you know, depending on your preferences, and you're gonna shake this just to dilute it a little bit and of course, cool it down. Oh yeah, nice and cold now. So what we'll do is we'll put this in our rocks glass here, grab a nice chunk of ice like so. And I'll bet you I can, can't do that again no matter how hard I try. So what we're going to do is also, we're going to fine strain this. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to uh, give this a bit of a rinse. 
because I'm going to need this again. So apparently I'm going to need maybe whenever I do these comparison videos, uh, two of these little shakers. And we know what we need a garnish. Uh, Leandro used an orange, Steve used a couple of grapes, but you know what? Let's do a good chunk of grapes here and we'll put that right there like so. Nice, pretty, clean. Put that right there. So of course we need this and what we're going to do is some red grapes. Now these are seedless grapes and I'm just gonna take the equivalent of amount because these are much smaller grapes. And there goes one. I'll have to pick that up later. And we need to muddle this now that I've completely forgotten what I was going to do. So again, one ounce, 60 mil of gin. By the way, one ounce is 30 mils, not 60 mils, because I think I just said 60 mils. We need one ounce of Campari. Make this nice and bitter. We need half an ounce or 15 mils of a simple syrup. Now the simple syrup I'm using, of course, is a one-to-one -one simple syrup. And last but not least, we need another three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Sorry, lemon juice. I apparently am colorblind today, as well as dropping things, because you know, things. And of course, three quarters of an ounce is 22 and a half mils. Put that here. We'll shake this again. All right, it's looking pretty good. We need a glass. Get that out of the way before I cut myself with how much of a klutz I'm being today. I need another good chunk of ice and we're going to fine strain this one as well too. Another good looking cocktail, I must say. And you know what, we need to garnish this as well. So what we'll do is We'll grab a, a little thing of grapes because, no, those look really bad. <laughs> I'm picky, I can't help it. I want, I want everything to look nice and pretty. There you go. Two beautiful looking cocktails. I, you know, you just can't go wrong just by looks alone. So first of all, let's start with this one. It smells good. Uh, you don't smell a lot of the Campari coming off. It's quite uh, quite an interesting smell. The gin seems muted as well. Ooh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. You don't really taste the gin. Um, it mixes well with the Campari. No, it's not like a, uh, a Negroni. It's muted. It's much softer. The bitterness isn't quite the same there. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm. Mm. just a sec. I'm going to try this other one, so. It smells about the same. You don't really get any hints of the gin or the, uh, the Campari. You do get a difference in the flavor. In fact, the Campari's a little bit more muted. Oh, mm. <clears throat> Steve? 
Red grapes are definitely the way to go with this one. Oh yeah. Absolutely, two awesome cocktails. Um, I prefer the one with red grapes, you know what? Leave a comment down below on what you think would be better if you've tried either version of these. And you know what? I really wanna know, these are both excellent. I really like them, although I do prefer this one with the red grapes. Just seems a little bit more balanced in my opinion, of course, and as humble as I am, <laughs> I'm gonna put the ingredients and the directions of how to make this down in the description below. If this is your first time to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. But if you don't like an awesome cocktail, hit the thumbs down button twice, and we'll see you next time. And I'm gonna use some red grapes, and I'm gonna make the, ask, fuck. Now the Enzoni, can't even say the name of the drink. Now the Enzoni was created by Frederico, Vincenzo.